with all your permissions we can start uh, once again uh, good evening ev everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, innovative platform called nxp campus connect so uh, first of all thank you ma'am for giving us an opportunity to you know uh, interact with lively with the students and uh, i am manish kumar and part of nxp india management team and on behalf of the nxp india management team once again i am you know thank you for all the support extended uh, to us just a brief introduction on uh, uh, what this program is and uh, how this will be you know beneficial for students so this is nxp campus connect program which is you know continuously running since last 3 years and the purpose is you know during covid time uh, we were not able to visit uh, the campuses and we thought how you know we can create a digital platform where we can interact you know lively with students so with the, with that thought into the mind uh, we started this uh, program apart from this several other programs which are also running so this is nxp campus connect program on every first <laughs> tuesday we are running vlsi sessions on every third tuesday we are running a system engineering uh, topic which includes uh, you know uh, starting from uh, software till the complete enablement infrastructure next year we are thinking of you know uh, have a hands on sessions hands on sessions means uh, we are going to you know run something on the board which is lively visible through the uh, you know digital uh, platforms so it will be helpful uh, for students to understand how to play with plug and play with you know software and hardware on first uh, tuesday every month we are running you know different uh, vlsi topics starting from you know ssc architecture till you know dft validation verifications and all those things as today is the third tuesday so we are going to present a system engineering topic which is uh, basically a software defined you know vehicle so a lot of you know uh, informations evolving and you know shared around this topic so uh, from the top level perspective what is that we are going to present before jumping on to this one we want to you know understand uh, how you know we can further extend uh, support uh, our you know hitesh garg is our uh, uh, vice president and india country head he is a very dynamic you know leader in india and always you know ready to support all these initiatives as, as well as you know universities how we can interact with them so with this uh, uh, over to you ma'am uh, once again you know thank you for giving us an opportunity so we want to understand you know how we can extend full support or any other type of feedbacks from your side over to you ma'am yeah thank you so much good evening all uh, thank you manish i think it was an excellent introduction about the program itself it gave a good overview of what is the purpose of this program you know for uh, you know conducting this campus connect as the outcome of it what is being actually you know it's more like an awareness that is being created about the technology to the students which is very very essential and uh, this this coming from uh, pioneers like nxp is very very essential so that students also understand the current trends in the industry in these uh, areas of whatever you are saying vlsi and system engineering which are very important topics uh, you know when it comes to government of india initiatives again you know both atmanirbhar bharat and also the uh, chip design aspects that are coming up in the government perspective also i think both these topics are very very relevant Uh, in the current context of the government of india initiatives as well so i think it's a very good initiative from nxp we appreciate this very well and uh, quickly to give a uh, brief perspective of what iith is doing uh, pertaining to today's topic you know particularly on software defined vehicles and the future you know we do a lot of work on autonomous vehicles again i think the team from nxp also visited us you know we have um, a top leader uh, team who came to iit hyderabad and they visited us they know uh, you know uh, in uh, detail what is the context in which we are putting up today's uh, discussions on autonomous vehicles as well so we have a big funded project at iit hyderabad by department of science and technology on autonomous navigations so where we are working on multimodal transportation again you know when you talk about sustainability future mobility it is just not one mode but rather multimodal integrating everything even you know slow moving vehicles to shared vehicles to even air vehicles you know that is a uh, personalized air mobility solutions so we are working on such kind of futuristic mobility solutions and to enable that you know at iit hyderabad we have a test bed also where we have test tracks you know where we can test the um, it's more like a proving ground uh, which is similar to 
what you will see in most of these Euro NCAP standard uh, uh, bodies are in some of the universities in abroad, like University of Michigan or University of Texas A&M and Jari, uh, you know, test track. Similar kind of uh, thing have been set up in IIT Hyderabad uh, for, uh, you know, actually doing field trials of autonomous vehicles. We work on different category of vehicles as well, starting from M1 category, uh, shared shuttle services, uh, to uh, electric vehicles, you know, of different categories, yes. uh, including uh, the um, drones, you know, heavy payload drones. As we were saying, heavy payload drones for personalized air vehicle is a very futuristic concept, which we are also working on. And what is the expertise that we are actually looking at? You know, mainly the stack development, you know, starting from end to end, starting from the sensor uh, integration to the stack, AI, ML perception to control algorithms is completely in-house stack uh, for different use cases have been tested, validated on different kind of uh, uh, vehicles, you know, starting from uh, ground vehicles to e-rail vehicles. This is our expertise. And uh, enough number of testing as per the different standards, Euro NCAP or IOSO standards, have been also carried out as per the requirement of the OEMs and some of the industry partners who are collaborating with us. Uh, going to software-defined vehicles, again, I think uh, this is what is next generation. We are talking about uh, you know, computer on four wheels when it comes to software defined vehicles. So to enable that, again, you know, we have something like 5G, uh, you know, communication enabled in the test bed along with edge compute. When I say edge compute, the core uh, GPU compute is uh, also integrated in the test bed itself so that the, uh, you know, data which is required to be computed on the autonomous vehicle is offloaded through the communication to the edge and all the inferences and the control is communicated back in some sense, you know, uh, that kind of experiments have been started. Some prototyping is also happening. So we are also working towards something on software defined vehicles. I mean, again, software defined vehicle, when it comes to its even more security is a very important aspect to cyber security aspects, you know, offloading, load balancing, everything. So a number of issues are there. So we are also trying to sort out many of these, or I would say explore and research some of these concepts because again, autonomous vehicle is so much data prone, you know, so much compute prone. So how to do this optimization is one of the important uh, tasks or research that we are also carrying out. I think today's talk is going to be very, very relevant to the audience uh, and particularly to students and researchers from IIT Hyderabad. Looking forward to hear from you. We are very happy to see that we can come up with more and more such, uh, you know, awareness programs and also, you know, involve in R&D activities. That is more important. Uh, so these are some few introductions from my side. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Yes, uh, your team is doing a great job and uh, we can collaborate on uh, these uh, new evolving technologies. And uh, I will request uh, NXP India MT team to visit. I and Sarath is, you know, very active there. So uh, for sure, we'll, you know, uh, uh, strong our collaboration and we'll work together uh, in near future. With that, thank you. And we can start uh, today's session. So yes, uh, today's uh, session is the software defined vehicle and future. Uh, we are going to cover uh, just a minute. Uh, hope my slides are perfectly visible and it's working, uh, Wasim. Yes, sir, it's visible. Perfect, great. So I am Manish Sharma and uh, uh, presently I am part of the Automotive uh, Engineering Solutions team. I am based in Noida. My total experience is uh, close to uh, 25 plus years of experience and uh, out of that uh, 15 plus is in NXP itself. And uh, right now, you know, uh, I am responsible for firmware engineering, which, you know, uh, generating uh, softwares for firmware and software for uh, boot roms, security firmware, cryptography, cyber security, safety and security, security solutions. So we are doing a lot of work uh, from India. And yes, uh, as ma'am said, uh, IIT Hyderabad is also doing a great job and we can, you know, going to collaborate in future. Now, what we are going to discuss today is uh, uh, a brief intro, uh, very top level what NXP is and uh, towards a uh, mobility operating, towards a mobility operating system, what this is. A new definition of transportation, thinking beyond the chips, 
the unforeseen scenarios because this is the new vertical you know all together is added into the system why are car makers you know developing the uh, software defined vehicle how to build a sdv basic steps new paradigm you know uh, is very popular uh, in uh, soc industry in the semiconductor industry which is left shift and stretch right we'll discuss what is that and considering all those things you know uh, if somebody is interested in to work in the semiconductor industry uh, mainly in the automotive uh, you know domain what all uh, the industry is looking for so with that and in the last uh, we'll do q and a and if you have any further questions you can you know uh, type it into the chat box will which will i will you know take up after this uh, session so yes uh, nxp what nxp is uh, maybe you uh, heard of this secure connections for a smarter world this is our basically punchline and our digitally enhanced world is evolving to anticipate and automate uh, all the activities activities related to that we will see in the subsequent slides this is a brief you know uh, uh, intro of uh, what nxp is is uh, we have headquarters headquarters in netherlands approximately 31000 employees globally we have 11000 engineers in uh, the uh, research and development activities 9000 plus patents us patents from our side and the revenue for last year which is 2022 is 13.2 billion and we are doing a great a good progress of 8 to 12% per annum and expecting you know 15 billion uh, very soon now the revenue uh, of nxp is mainly coming from uh, automotive which is 52% and rest of the uh, you know applications like mobile 12% communication infra and other is 15% and industrial and iot is approximately 21% our main competitors in the market is uh, uh, basically uh, renaissance which is very close to our market share and then infineon and then uh, there are a lot of other uh, players in this market we can proudly say that as on today uh, as per the analysis of 2022 and uh, we are maintaining this in 2023 also we are the number one in auto uh, processors number one in auto applications processor vehicle networking processor in vehicle networking auto dsps auto rf radar car infotainment digital radio secure car access and we are number two in auto analog so if you see a clear leadership clear you know uh, uh, scope uh vertically as well as horizontally we are you know uh, touching most of the applications in automotive and other areas in the bottom uh, our uh, innovative uh, management team is visible here very dynamic kurt sievers is our ceo and general manager who is managing the automotive business is onri and then uh, zens is basically the general manager for advanced analog products and toston is basically the general manager for radio frequency processing which include radar and all and rafael is basically you know general manager for secure connected as so this is the team who is driving this whole business jumping on to the next uh, we already discussed that in which market we are working so automotive industrial and iot mobile and communication infrastructure <laughs> the theme you know around the embedded system says the sense which is the sensor part you have to sense all around activities and then analyze uh, this data which is basically the think part of that once you analyze the data based on the analysis you have to connect you have to first first you know uh, identify which you know task to be implemented then connect to that particular node and then act on it after this you know uh, everything should be smart which is everything aware everything smart everything connected everything efficient and we are positioned across all required building block in an xp itself and everything is safe and secure this is our main you know punch line from the nxp now very specific to automotive what is our you know vision when we are designing any new product or we are going to introducing any new product in the market which is from the top level is the vision zero so what does it mean is autonomy which is basically our objective is how we can you know minimize or zero road accidents because the data says that the 90% 94% of the accidents are you know due to the human errors and then uh, everybody is aware of uh, the pollution and all the emission so our you know uh, through electrification uh, we are working towards the zero emission which is you know uh, 
this is the not just the requirement but is but the increasing you know global regulations so most of the countries now have a charter like by 2030 or by 2025 or by 2040 that everything is going to be converted into the electrical so a lot of transformation is happening in this area connectivity yes connectivity is the major you know uh, feature which is uh, without connectivity uh, nothing is you know uh, popular as on today so connectivity is the main you know feature in all our products now when we are saying uh, just i want to touch one uh, vertical which says zero accident so what we are doing with respect to the zero accidents so starting from the first one this is the functional <laughs> safety so we are doing a lot of uh, you know uh, work how we can you know make sure the zero accidents due to these system failures so we identified these all you know failures and we all are you know uh, working and doing research in all these areas and you know uh, uh, projecting and uh, launching the products around that device reliability is also the second which is you know device defects is also the one of the uh, uh, major region for zero accidents so we are working in this area also vehicle safety uh how you know human error we can avoid the human errors by you know uh, putting all these features into the system then as you know digital transformation is happening lot of data lot of connectivity so the protection of data and the privacy of data is very very important we are working in this area and then yes uh, if data is you know connected in so many nodes as on today you know in the high end car 300 plus microcontrollers are already installed and in autonomous driving and uh, you know uh, going forward there will be you know the good goal is uh, the microcontrollers or the microprocessors will be in four digit so you can say that 1000 plus you know such systems are going to be installed in car so uh, you can you know imagine the type of integration the type of uh, software versioning control the type of cloud connectivity the data pumps from car to the clouds interconnected you know not with inside the car but outside the car so cyber security is very important hackers are very active so we have to make sure that you know uh, the system is not going to be hacked so these are the you know uh, this way we are making sure it's a zero accident you know vision uh, from nxp now the we talked about this today's topic is software defined vehicle what does it mean is basically and how nxp is working towards this so everything is connected through clouds and when you know this much numbers of processor this much number of you know uh, uh, terabytes of data is going to be pumped here and there so the uh, ota services are going to play the major role so the all the cards are going to be connected and the service oriented and due to this all transformation the electrical and electronics architecture is going to be redesigned one way we are going to work on how through ev you know the energy management is going to be you know implemented and parallelly how we can make a smart you know transportation uh, which is basically autonomous driving new senses and new way of thinking there so what does it mean is that we are going to talk about a world that is better safer and more secure so to do that you know uh, i would like to share some thoughts that what the big picture is that can help us to understand manage the interrelated world of tomorrow let's you know uh, have this small video sorry i think some issues yeah hope the audio is audible to everyone yes it's audible perfect so it's not it not just the you know uh, mobility within the you know connectivity within the car but there are a lot of you know outside world is going to be connected with this so here we are just displaying
So yes, uh, let's imagine that we all are in 2040. And at that time, you know how this world will look like. This is just an anticipation and the type of integration of all the products. So uh, let's say, you know, I entered into some mobility and uh, there, as I inserted into that mobility and, you know, that recognizes me and asking, hi Manish, I am your mobility operating system. And through the AI and my previous, you know, uh, uh, type of working and all those things, the system will identify that what is going on in my, in my mind, what all tasks I am thinking of. So it will recognize and based on that, it will, you know, going to update. Like based on your calendar, your son would be traveling to his, you know, grandma's birthday. So it is all digitization. Basically, first the data is going to be captured and then all security, privacy, cyber security, all are going to be, you know, around that to protect the data. And these all type of, you know, pl please proceed with the reservations. I'm thinking of, you know, going somewhere. So all this type of integration as well as, you know, uh, implementation and the proposals, all the things are automatically, you know, popped up on your, you know, connectivity uh, device. So it's like a complete, you know, uh, we are thinking of a operating system where all these applications are going to be, you know, enabled onto this. one. So it is going to be first assist, asking and giving you the different types of proposal for different types of activities. And then based on your, you know, uh, uh, thought process, your likings, your, you know, uh, interest, it is going to propose you that these all, you know, different options are there and based on that you can, you know, do the selections and make the payments and make implementation. A lot of things are in reality as on today, but right now the pre-processing is happening like, you know, I have to travel. I have to first identify which all places, you know, uh, I have to go based on that you know, on different sites I am going and, you know, identifying where I can, you know, uh, get my taste of hotels and taste mm -hmm. of foods what type of, you know, uh, surroundings are there and based on that, all this selections is going to be happen and then, then online payment and everything. So this whole is going to be integrated in, you know, uh, if we are talking about the mobility and our, you know, life in 2040, not very far away. Now what this, you know, mean is that mobility is uh, mm -hmm. going to be a seamless service. All transportation, you know, going to be operates as an integrated environment and a platform, common platform where all, you know, seamlessly integrated across you know different platforms uh, different transport mechanisms are going to be you know uh, uh, integrated and uh, uh, seamless uh, transitions it is going to be you know optimized for the need uh, of the mobility integrating not just the mobility related work but also all the third party related stuff uh, which is you know comes under the service window which includes you know insurance hospitality and all other infrastructures and how this is going to be enabled, what all, you know, verticals will be there, autonomous driving, climate friendly, safe and secure, convenience, your taste and all. Then this is going to be, you know, evolve the new definition of transformations, transportations. And what this is, basically the life cycle of vehicle development is going through our transformation. What this transformation means for engineers is basically the diverse, you know, uh, uh, infrastructure, autonomous driving, different types of services are going to be integrated. All are well connected seamlessly, ease to use functionalities and plug and play type of infrastructure, plus the electric vehicle platform is evolving in the mobility. So yes, autonomous and electrical, different types of, you know, autonomous and electrical transformations are seamlessly integrated. And then once it is integrated, what type of different services and software are going to be integrated? Those are going to be updated on a, you know, timely manners. Different vendors are going to, you know, provide the different versions of software, different services, all are going to be integrated at a different level. And these all, you know, OEMs are going to be, you know, uh, uh, come onto a platform and that platform is going to be, you know, change the way of, you know, uh, this industry. The next point is uh, user interaction. User interaction is going to play the major role uh, in this whole implementation where, you know, uh, it's not just the mobility, but how your home, how your, you know, uh, interconnected uh, persons, your stakeholders, the insurance, pharmacy, all is, you know, going to be, you know, uh, user interactive and 
basically uh, through the autonomous driving when you are you know sleeping in the autonomous car everything going to be executed which is already you know uh, in the pipeline or it can fetch the data and going to you know suggest you different options so this all it's not one way communication but it's a parallel you know bi bidirectional communication and going to be you know very interactive then the shared mobility i don't know whether you are aware of or not day before yesterday in i don't know whether in the times of india or on the at because i am reading these two newspapers the there is a big half days ad from the maruti motors that they are going to lease the vehicles now no need to purchase and i think the cost is approximately 13000 per car per month that way no need to buy the car but you can lease the car use it as per yours you know uh, choices and then the, you you can return that so that type of you know infrastructure is already started so it's a great uh, you know uh, innovation and the new features uh, uh, for us so which is basically part of the shared mobility so you know person do not you know buy the car but they can use as per their usages and then you can you can it's return and in major cities nowadays you know the mobility um, platforms are created where you know uh, two wheelers or uh, going forward maybe the four wheelers are going to be you know available there the charging stations all the complete infrastructure is already there so the shared mobility is will be the next you know uh, uh, innovation or the application which is going to be generated okay. now it's not just the mobility but there are you know uh, tri trillions of edge which are going to be connected and this area is growing very fast you know nobody you know uh, analyzed that this growth is going to be happen so fast that is basically the accept acceptability of these all devices you so you see you can see the wearable devices is increasing a lot in vehicle experience a lot of gadgets are going to be installed in the car wireless charging infrastructure is already you know installed in the car so a lot of such things and if you analyze the market you know since 2000 to 2010 the era was of laptops you know uh, mobiles desktop connected uh, systems game consoles home audio wifi hifi systems by till 2010 after 2010s you know the smartphone took over the laptops and all these you know ipad and all all such gadgets a lot of gadgets during that time and then the smartphone was the yeah. center Uh, which is going to be connected and driven through that one which is and the data center servers these two you know uh, verticals grown a lot between 2010 2020 to 2020 and the market is predicting that from 2020 to 2030 the secure edge that's the next level of growth which is going to be happen uh, smart connected devices these all trends are already visible and a lot of companies are working in this area uh, wasim can you mute uh, and what does it mean is basically the uh, the prediction is that 1 trillion dollar revenue by 2030 and lot of you know uh, uh, connected devices and this all are going to be you know uh, uh, supported through the smart connected devices these are all the applications the smart factories smart homes smart mo mobility smart connected cars autonomous cars and all those things so uh, yes this is the growth area going forward and you know it's not just the chips so thinking beyond the chips basically what does it mean is that you know we heard lot of applications and we talked about lot of applications where the you know uh, we thought of that chips are going to be you know powerful that will you know fuel the connected future solutions with more performance and more ai capabilities into the uh, integrated into the systems we are also very convinced that the technical features are no longer what define the success the success is purely based on how we are going to enable the customer what the enablement infrastructure is what what is the is to use infrastructure and the race for performance and feature alone is the race of the past today the world is far more complex than the hardware only so let's you know analyze what does it mean is so we are going to you know uh, architected three different layers what is required what is differentiating factor and what is unforeseen which is you know uh, as i described you is a new vertical which is added into the system and we are seriously evaluating and doing research around that with all of these factors and many more in play it becomes clear that the best chip does not always win 
and should not always win. The development of a chip should take into the considerations the expected, the required, and the unforeseen as well as the dynamics of a given ecosystem that is going to play the major role there. Selecting a chip is really about selecting a partner nowadays. It's not just, you know, putting two, three devices data sheet, compare what all features I am looking for. That is, you know, history of the past. Now the selection criteria customer is evaluating that who is going to provide me the complete enablement system, the complete infrastructure, which is basically in other word is they are looking for a partner. And NXP is already, you know, did this partnership with few of the, of the key customers in the market, and this is evolving going forward. So let's see what is this. So when we are saying the required, the required is the mandatory infrastructure or the platform, which is mandatory. There is no compromise with that. And what does it mean is the real time implementation real time you know uh, hardware infrastructure which is required the as we are you know talking about the ev transformation the electrical vehicles the energy efficiency in the performance is very very important the computational power because computational power is directly you know proportional to the uh, energy consumptions standard compliances because a lot of new features added new to a lot of new open platforms created so you have to you know make uh, compliance of standards functional safety system security and reliability plus these are the new you know user experiences so ai and ml is going to play the major role there the differentiating this is the important factor as i told you we are fighting with you know nxp's nxp's close competitors are sorry infineon and renaissance so what makes your product more you know appealing that is basically the differentiating factor and what does it mean is how the system is going to be you know ease to use ease to use means upgradables interoperable because a lot of devices are going to be connected if the user or if the integrator is going to struggle there then you are not going to be successful you will not be the first choice for your customers then secure cloud connectivity as i told you connectivity is the key vertical and is to use plug and play these are the key you know functions in the uh, connectivity cloud uh, you know uh, uh, the data analytics customizability over the air updates user experience fast development i will you know i created a very special slide for you guys to understand what this fast development is and is to use which is the key factor for the complete enablement infrastructure now the most new vertical which is added is the unforeseen scenarios so let's see so many you know pointers we collected here and we are you know working towards all these things you are very much aware of this geopolitical scenarios across the world and that is basically creating a new areas of development this geopolitical issues supply disruption you are very much everybody aware of in the covid is still you know semiconductor is critical you know uh, for the mobility uh, infrastructure mobility you know uh, business and uh, security as a lot of connectivity there a lot of hackings uh, vulnerabilities there so uh, that is also the key uh, you know factor for considering consolidation a lot of new features are added so you have to go, you know consolidate thousand controllers or processors in a car very tough to maintain you have to integrate you have to do the consolidation of you know uh, uh, things that's why domain and the zonal architectures are evolving and different you know uh, companies are working uh, with their thought processes and all but we have to you know support each and every uh, idea uh, in this uh, complete enablement infrastructures the export controls yes you are very much aware of there are countries where you know uh, one country is doing sanctions that these all features are not going to be enabled there and here, so yes, export controls are going to play the role and uh, the security infrastructure, the complete enablement infrastructure is going to be, you know, developed around this. Then IP restrictions, because a lot of, you know, uh, hacking, a lot of copying, a lot of, you know, copyright violations are happening. So we have to make more stringent, more, you know, uh, protective IP uh, 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 development and IP uh, uh, deliveries. And then apart from this, a lot of government regulations because the things which are workable, which are acceptable in one part of the country, one part of the world, 
it is not going to be acceptable or not as it is some customization will be there so these are the new areas which evolved in last few years and it is you know more you know you can say addition into this one so if you see uh, in the right hand side window lot more is there but these all are areas left hand side you know which is already we started working on this is also the key you know uh, features in your system now what is imperative you know uh, for this strategy what type of investment we are you know working on the scalable hardware platform for software defined vehicles this is the key part because we have to you know develop a hardware which will be live for you know at least 5 to 10 years in future and interoperable field upgradable software upgradable ease to connections so this all you know scalable hardware platform is the first choice then once the hardware you know uh, platform is available we have a scalable software which is you know software is the most critical and the time consuming part of that more you know different types of test will be required because it's a life related stuff so a uh, very different in the robust abstraction layers how quickly the things are going to be identified and integrated and tested this all type of frameworks will be required for this continuous and seamless integration and improvement and it is going to be you know well managed through the releases and updates uh, uh, across uh, the applications across the vendors across the supply chain infrastructure and it should be a real time you know capable safe secure and robust once these two you know infrastructure is ready then the new you know uh, uh, technologies going to be very important for this implementation which is basically you know how the different features are going to be you know enhanced by ai how we can you know do the uh, user interactivity you increase the uh, you know enhanced a uh, user experience ai stack how the hardware accelerators and the software are going to work together this all you know areas are going to be uh, with that then don't think of uh, you know individual applications or individual you know soc the system the, the time comes when you have to think about the system and the go to market strategy so this all is basically partners this is again you know uh, justified that customers are are now looking for partners not just a application not just a simple hardware or the software part and then once this is there the whole new development you know paradigm is you know happening which includes the seamless and continuous way of working between with partners it not just you know you delivered and then forget about it and then the next you know uh, uh, applications or next level of you know uh, work we are going to do it it's a it's a contract basically for not just for short terms nowadays you know people are signing i'm talking about the big companies like bosch and all these you know companies they are signing contract with semiconductor suppliers for next 10 years 15 years 25 years and 30 years so this type of you know uh, uh, partnership is evolving uh, in the market going forward now when we are talking about the uh, hardware uh, platform what does it mean is you know uh, the as i told you this everything is you know going through our transformation so mobility is also you know going through a transformation which is happening in two uh, you know two major uh, areas which is electrical uh, and the electronic uh, part of that so e and e architectures are you know uh, uh, in a new uh, defining new ways of defining and how this is going to be you know provided an ideal hardware platform for to host uh, the software defined uh, vehicles they are basically you know simultaneous trends in the industry to consolidate hardware to reduce the number of you know uh, issue how we can you know merge different applications all together if you see uh, the cloud services service oriented architecture ecus high speed networks performance computes and you know safety security cyber security functional safety so the industry is you know uh, simultaneously lot of trends are already visible and industry is you know consolidate uh, the hardware to reduce the complexity in the system and how the oems are moving to the new end means electronics and electrical architecture called domain and the zonal 
uh, uh, architectures which you know provided an environment where software can be consolidated to support the stv uh, 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 platforms and this domain architecture you know having different like uh, uh, adas domain you know vehicle computer domain the connectivity and gateway domains and then uh, you know different types of uh, uh, proposals uh, domain where uh, the uh, electrical vehicle infrastructure is going to be managed so this is uh, different types different companies are adopting but mostly these two architectures are evolving in the market as per our information and you know the zonal architectures you know take a physical approach by consolidating you know software by locations or zones in the vehicles across functional domains and we, we see that uh, the uh, oems can take one of the approaches and the combination is also you know evolving in few of uh, uh, the customers and the vehicle computer is you know heart of the uh, vehicle which control updating and connecting its uh, high compute uh, systems and the journal uh, controllers and the edge uh, product, uh, products in the in the mobility and different types of layers like you know hardware is uh, one of the layer where the software is on top of that and the cloud connectivity through that the complete software defined you know vehicle is going to be defined then how to manage this complexity of you know hardware and software which is basically as i updated you the partner what does it mean is partner means what so partner means uh, company which can provide the most of the infrastructure which is basically going to be you know unable the complete infrastructure so there are different verticals so system management which you know include includes the security manager safety manager system manager the applications manager this all is you know part of this and it is all you know working on top of a real uh, time systems real operating systems hardware accelerators and all so uh, applications core compute cores this all is you know part of the hardware so if you see the bottom layer where you know uh, the hardware accelerators programmable infrastructure the uh, hypervisors real time compute and all this you know different layers you know prepared and everybody is going to you know uh, uh, all the vendors are going to contribute into this one and it's not like that there is you know a lot of times people will ask uh, you know that the different companies are going to be you know washed out uh, in the coming no no it's not like that uh, the system is evolving which create a lot of opportunities to all uh, these stakeholders so here it is visible like system management execution environment which is basically the real time operating systems the mobility operating system which is also evolving then it's a bare metal type of stuff because a lot of hardware is going to be managed through the dedicated you know firmware because the real time of performance and compute is going to be achieved through that and then the uh, uh, hardware uh, is going to be you know uh, uh, managed properly based on the compute uh, requirements so a very top level picture of how the hardware and software is going to be evolved in future then nxp's approach is the heterogeneous associates with hardware assisted virtual support and uh, you know 5 nanometer we are the first one in this industry which defined 5 nanometer now you know ip and all this is the you know uh, uh, innovation of the past going forward we are talking about the subsystem approach because the development costing cost is so high that we have to make the system very you know useful for a particular applic application as well as the fu future you know customizable interoperability and all those features will be there so to manage this we are you know talking about the subsystem approach from the hardware perspective as well as from the software and the firmware side we are going to you know uh, uh, make a open platform which is you know usable for all different types of applications and the services which are going to be evolved in near future now why why car makers are you know uh, uh, developing or thinking about the software defined vehicles so this automotive industry is evolving you know rep re uh, very rapidly as it goes through a digital as well as the electrical and electronic transformation and this automotive differentiation is you know no longer driven by gears or grease this was the you know history now and the new battleground in this industry is you know defined by offering new user experience services continual improvement in the system how it is going to be connected 
uh, you know, mobility, and this is this all is going to be enabled through software. After so many years, you know, software is you know very powerful in the in this industry, which is a very good sign, you know, uh, for this one. And you can name any industry. Yesterday, you know, those were known for softwares. Now, you know, uh, to you name any big software industry, their strategy, their strong strategy, and going forward, they are working on you know hardware, firmware engineering, integrated platforms. How the open, you know, uh, uh, protocol can be defined. Open platform, hardware platform, we are talking about. So this software defined functionalities, you know, is fundamentally you know recasting the customer relationship, value distribution partners creations increasing defined by you know ongoing interactions in the in this industry powered by you know post production content and the services companies are investing a lot in you know reducing uh, emission connectivity vehicle enhancements electrification system user experience electrical engineering because a lot of conversion is happening in the electromechanical uh, type of infrastructure. So what is that? And this all is evolving around two main architectures, which is domain and journal architectures. So what are the you know basic steps uh, nowadays? Complete you know dynamics, design dynamics is changed. First, now customer is asking for what is you are going to provide in the software enablement infrastructure, which defines a lot of new features, the customer expectations. Once they are, you know, satisfied with that type of software enablement and the support and the partnership, then they are, you know, going to discuss about hardware. They are going to suggest us what type of hardware, you know, we have to design that is going to be, you know, stable, scalable, and the future platform because they want this hardware is going to be, you know, workable for next ten years, not for today. Because whatever we are thinking of innovating or developing. It is going to be, you know, available in the car after five years and then the life of that hardware. So that is basically also very important and software is like a continuous improvement. It is going to be updated, you know, on a daily basis. You can say that new feature includes. So new type of, you know, uh, uh, infrastructure which includes, you know, uh, smart mobility, cloud integration over the air updates. This all type of you know flexibility customer want that they can control and play a very good experience to customers. New processes, DevOps is also growing very fast. You know continuous integration. This integration is the key role going forward. The testing and deployment of different types of uh, features, softwares, agile and new uh, method. You know uh, the waterfall method is you know uh, is a history. And this agile is the new way of working uh, in our industry in the software as well as you know this is very popular in the uh, uh, IP design creations and all. Then we are thinking and talking now digital twin virtual modeling. We'll discuss this in you know subsequent slide. What does it mean is because this is now a buzzword uh, in our industry. Now software defined vehicle. What is that? So why? OEMs are you know moving towards that. So the focus is on EV and batteries demand a new in vehicle computing architecture, multiple types of silicons, consolidation to drive the efficiency and its driving range. Automaker e ecosystems must adapt to collaborative cloud based virtual development approaches, novel ways of developing, testing their vehicles, support entirely new hardware which is going to be hardware architecture which is going to be as a open platforms and that can enable the future of the, this software development deploy, development and deployment strategies this shift is basically you know driving vehicle towards zonal architectures that combines multiple higher performance and upgradable you know compute devices on diverse centralized boards distributed infrastructure cloud based you know, testing nowadays, you know, customers are creating their own infrastructure where the things are going to be first tested and they are then deploying on the open platform test is and then deployment is going to be, you know, happening. Today's the software supply chain is exponentially, you know, more complicated than that seen in the past two decades. 
it is more you know complex than the aerodynamics you know which were very complex in the past but going forward this mobility is going to be more more complex than you know in this and the most important part is the supply chain management which is a very critical very you know problematic uh, system for the oems the next thing is upgradable user experience so automotive development you know focus has shifted from electro mechanical to the silicon and this change you know uh, uh, change the mindset of the uh, you know mechanical based uh, uh, oem mindset and all and plus the software that is you know leveraging the cloud throughout the vehicle life cycle that is the one more critical you know vertical added into this one and then streamlining vehicle to cloud communication becomes critical to support data driven use cases uh, like a uh, digital twins machine learning advanced ota system a seamless you know uh, uh, upgradation plug and play type of uh, gadgets not just within the car but outside the car and this creates lot of opportunities as well as the complexity and risk for us to you know make sure the continual improvement and ease to use and time to market is also very important in this area and then as lot of integration is happening so vehicle and data management the data science the analytics and then you know uh, fetching the right information with full security security vulnerability cyber security this all is going to be you know entered into this uh, domain and how oems are going to you know uh, 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 manage this one through the diagnostics and the preventable you know maintenance new data driven services and the business models uh, for this now see the brain of this one which is basically the vehicle design and development content creation object detections creative ai assistance and lot more you know apart from this this is unlocking new customer experiences cut down the development times improves productivity ai based you know implementations reimagine the car ai you know uh, uh, generative ai basically increases global gdp by 7% this is what the data is saying next 10 years and nearly two third of the job in us and europe and you know across the world will actually you know uh, profit from gen ai this is what you know we are thinking of it and it is you know what is moving towards that the purpose is you know build silicon which is going to be you know adapt all these future technologies a massive compute is going to be there in the car so through software and other software enabled platform is going to be you know support that plus the massive storage requirements and this all is basically you know how to making ai embedded uh, systems now if you see from the you know what we discussed till now is uh, uh, what are the basic steps for this one so select optimal electronics and electrical architecture that is the very first step then re architect the software determine scope of vehicle platform adopt new ethernet technologies connectivity basically then embrace the virtualization uh, how we can do the high performance you know compute system uh, then uh, build in future proofing vehicle to cloud software to do and enable lot of services there a use of virtual modeling and how this is going to be happen is select the right partners so that he can drive all this into the right directions now as i updated you a new paradigm is added in this development life cycle what is that is and why it is like the system complexity is increasing and this lot of security vulnerabilities time to market and customer want to evaluate their interest is to evaluate what you are going to you know give us end of the day and what does it mean is that we have to shift left shift left means if we are going to you know develop a silicon which is going to be available you know after one year or two year or three year depending upon the complex devices customer is interested in to develop from day one because the agile process is already there he can suggest you what type of hardware infrastructure what type of software infrastructure they are looking for means all the stakeholders are going to work together so in the bottom if you see the picture is visible so 9 to 12 months you know before the hardware or software definition is happening or the customer is basically landed everybody all the stakeholders are going to work together and once the silicon is available the new parameter which is added into this strategy is stretch right 
what does it mean is as i updated you whatever we are thinking of whatever we are innovating today is going to be you know deployed in the car after 5 years so 5 years is basically the development testing and deployment life cycle and then they want that for next in 10 plus years you know customer can trust this platform so this is the new strategy of you know uh, uh, approach that shift left left and stretch are right so this is the new you know paradigm which is added into uh, our day to day working and in brief basically basically if you see uh, uh, what all we discussed in last you know uh, few minutes so that is going to be you know part of three major verticals system engineering what does it mean is that the new product you know design and specifications you have to think you know in the system level approach optimizations and value capture innovation software and you know tools value additions expertise and know how everything should go parallel if we talk about you know um, uh, relevance you need to talk about about the system relevance story and there you need to have a couple of you know ingredients of course you need to know what is technically you know want to do the entire system engineering our discussions and once that is very you know solid then you have to think of how the system is going to be you know uh, go to the next phase of that one which is the go to market strategy and what does it mean is the complete enablement st uh, strategy support infrastructure design it today itself because now the support infrastructure is integrated into the software as well as in the hardware to protect the complete system the solutions prototyping system offering and the system level uh, promotions once that all is you know set then the third very important vertical is basically the uh, support and creation of the ecosystem which is basically time to market and all what does it mean is the complete ecosystem creation and the development partners identification and acquisitions of the new technologies standardization activities certification uh, you know activities around that respective hardware and software you know maturity upgradations interoperable and then the complete you know uh, promotions plans around that this all is basically you know part of the software defined vehicles now if you compare you know that my grandpa's you know uh, life was very disruptive in 1900 you know time frame so someone landed on the moon uh, internet launched television came computer launched insulin you know uh, ident innovative solutions for uh, you know uh, uh, cardiac uh, uh, treatments diabetic treatments and all then world war happened new type of you know a system launched there different types of smart vehicle uh, you know launched at that time you can say smart at that time electromechanical was not the right word to use but yes and then new ways of energy creations this was you know grandpas they were also thinking of very innovative time you know how to you know cope up with all these new technology and all are we thinking of that was you know disruptive times for them now this is my grandson's life how it is going to be you know they will plan that you know next vacations will be on mars <laughs> not on you know uti or somewhere else and what type of medicines nothing you know not to take you know morning evening or something some gadgets are going to be there which is you know automatically inducting into the body based on the body requirements and all then how your smart home as i you know i saw you uh, we discussed on one of the slide that in 2040 how the things are going to be you know look like so smartphone smart office everything is going to be you know connected interoperable ease to use and all those things mobility yes already it has started the different types of you know transportations the as i told you no need to buy your own a uh, uh, mobility you can lease use as per your own choices and then you know uh, drone is already very active a lot of innovation is happening i don't think in next one two year this is going to be completely change smartphone is the you know very centric part of our life you know previously who thought of that you know this uh, the one thing which you know people close to their heart is the mobile phone 
they they can you know lose anything but they can't lose now it's not possible for them to you know uh, uh, lose the phone i don't know when i went uh, you know to atm in last few months never online payments are happening everything is very seamless only thing you know before leaving my home i just you know careful about where is my phone it is with me or not rest everything can be managed to that so this type of mindset this type of lifestyle is already you know created and this is going to be you know multiplied in many more applications many more you know uh, uh, different features are going to be added and enabled onto this one electrical you know autonomous car already lot of testing is happening lot of different levels of you know uh, autonomous is already inte integrated into the systems and we are enjoying all this one green renewable energy is already you are aware of you know uh, uh, in your uh, uh, big cities uh, most of the you know uh, uh, public mobility is you know converted into electrical vehicles and it is already you know uh, continuous improvement is happening in that areas a lot of new uh, areas are evolving with this one then augmented reality is again you know that is the new area uh, which is a uh, lot of new gadgets are evolving around that and that is going to change uh, you know uh, in in news channels you see the uh, ai created uh, you know uh, uh, models are presenting the things going forward in airports also their announcements you know uh, real humans are not visible and sometimes you will be confused whether this is the real or this is just a you know uh, uh, model created there so a lot of things are you know changing but it does not mean that you know uh, we have to be innovative we have to be creative and we have to be you know uh, uh, enablers this is our main you know job role uh, in future so yes uh, uh, robotics is also you know new areas of evolving so yes i think um, i don't think uh, in next 10 years lot of things are going to be changed if you compare these 10 years from last 10 years these are going to be very very different very very challenging as a as a you know as an engineering uh, community uh, it is more exciting also you know uh, to play and develop with this one and nxp is you know visible in all these verticals which we talked about is not that i selectively you know captured what nxp is doing but this is you know we uh, you know touched all the things which are you know evolving in near future and yes the important part is with all these you know factors and many more in play it becomes very clear that the best chip does not always win as i you know suggested you and should not always win and the development approach is going to be a partnership we are going to you know work as a partner and this development of chip should take into consideration the expected the required and the unforeseen as well as we you know discuss and the dynamics of a given ecosystem and selecting is a chip is really you know about selecting a partner that has the best fit for purpose and that is what you know this software and all different types of you know uh, uh, development community is evolving in most of the companies going forward so ecosystem is going to shape this whole disruptive you know uh, changes in our society now what we have to you know sharpen from the skill set perspectives so from the hardware platform development the system architecture design soc design engineer in different domains uh dft front end back end you know verification validation all these things and latest technologies which is basically artificial intelligence machine learning big data analytics neural networks voice recognition gesture controls augmented realities and different types of you know enablement infrastructure which required the core uh, expertise which is you know uh, through the uh, c c plus python rtos autosar uh, for mobility is very popular linux android qnx and then uh, different types of you know uh, clouds which is uh, you know aws azure cloud era uh infrastructures hypervisor virtual machines are evolving now data structure cyber security data acquisitions and reduce the software complexity by you know uh, ll uh, vm cuda open cl open gl cpu cluster dsps gpus isp experts and all these you know areas are evolving then there are new uh, uh, areas which is you know evolving very fast growing very fast which is basically the functional safety which is part of the safe 
you know, secure, assure, and then the security. Security is nowadays, you know, you know, very example, uh, real example. I'm just sharing law since you know five years back when we were visiting customers. We are talking about you need security. They were not very, you know, clear or not serious about this security concept. They are saying, okay, if you are giving, this is fine. Tell me what all features are there. Will you have this type of accelerators in the hardware, this type of connectivity? Main focus was the connectivity at that time. Will you have high speed cans? Will you have Ethernet, which is newly launched in the market? Yes, but nowadays they are starting with how secure your device is what all certifications you know implemented and qualified on your product and what type of system you are providing what type of infrastructure you are going to you know deliver to us that type of you know mindset is already changed so security is a major vertical which is evolving and it's not just uh, security which is basically safety and security cyber security and all lot of other you know segments are growing and apart from this the key you know uh, uh, experience key field which is you know evolving without this is not possible is basically the ecosystem enablement and the implementation and the support infrastructure which is basically the field testing in mobility field testing is the critical you know phase of this mobility uh, development life cycle then the quality engineers are the key you know players in this area user experience is the key because what ex was the user is going to experience is this what you know implemented in the background is you know he's not worried about and then enabling customers this is also very important and the customer support so guys uh, this is what i shared with you the uh, software you know uh, defined vehicles and how the software defined future that's the new you know uh, uh, strategy and the vision of our company so thank you for attending this and uh, you know uh, i request please come and play with us together we are not just advancing technology but we are you know advancing the society that is our vision as well as mission also trust nxp as a you know key partner in your development and we are you know always very open for any innovative suggestions and feedback you can use our nxp underscore campus underscore connect at the rate of nxp.com to you know uh, uh, suggest any ideas feedbacks any queries we are open for that so this is you know basically end of uh, my presentation now you know uh, i can take a few queries uh, if you have